All right. Let's, uh... Oh, those textures, I think, are still loading in. He's missing parts of his body. Holy shit. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to some more, more uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, I'm still holding that torch, aren't I? Uh, I last played this yesterday. So I need to remember the controls. Uh, how are you going with the combat? Oh, I've only had, like, a fight. So I don't really know yet. All right. I'm going to unequip the torch. All right. So our current objective is... Oh, thanks for following Kaipon. Welcome to the vlog. Um, my current objective, we need to bury our loved ones. So we need to go back to our hometown for that. Don't know how safe that is. Talk to Sir Robert and optional, get a horse. Because it's probably a lot easier than walking all the way back. Uh, so that's, that's our main quest. We have no side quests yet. Okay. Or we could probably just walk around and do whatever we want. Now let's go talk to Sir Robert to get an idea of what we're doing. Then the game might kind of open up now. I know there's a little tutorial-y stuff left, but I think the game's about to open up. Hey, everybody. Good, help you. Good to see all the new names in the chat today. S okay. Models don't seem to be loading in correctly. His head's all fucked up. All right, uh, my character seems fine, though. I gotta get new clothing. You know what I need to do? I need to get some money and get myself a proper pair of... <laughs> pair of... Get myself some proper clothing. Um, all right. Uh, what's Sigismund after? What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Um... Is afraid of the insurgent lords? Because the lords there could have risen against him with their armies and stopped his conquest of the Bohemian territories? That's part of it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Hey, Wolf 20 ko uh, Thanks again for gifting this game to me. Is it worth it so far? So far, I very much enjoy it, but I'm very early in the game right now. And have you ever thought about streaming a Silent Storm game? I don't know how well they stream, just because they are a bit old, they're a little bit hard to get running. And I'm a huge fan of their game Hammer and Sickle. Although that's very hard to get running now. If you have more than 4 gigs of RAM, you need to use a hex editor to get the game running. It's very strange. Morgan just finished it. Awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to really enjoy this game. I'm going to spend a lot of time with it, I think. Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said that they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. All right. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, 
He was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Mm. My highest stat here is this. Before I lose my temper. I'm not gonna fucking intimidate this guy. Uh, my lowest stat here is speech, and yet I think it's the thing I'm most likely to be above him in. There's no way I'm gonna out-nobility this guy, right? I'm gonna try and talk to him. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good nah. God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. All right, fair enough. So my goal is to try and find a way out of here. For a second, I thought he just like jumped through a garden or something, but no, there's actually a path there. Betty was always good with her hands. You're right there. Anyway, I showed a couple of pieces she made last time to old Tonda from Tabor, the one I buy goods from, and he said right away he'll take them. But how much do I want for them? Well, now. I was surprised myself. Am I supposed to be privy to this? I can drop things in the pot? I could like poison the pot? I'm allowed to eat from this, right? This is communal? Just like that. What I heard about him, he's a right skimplint. Oh, what did Betty have to say? She was well pleased, as you can imagine. Alright, I'm not interested in their dumb gossip. Let's explore around a little bit. Let's kind of, let's just forget the objective for a minute and explore around, have some fun. Who are you? Yes, you can eat it. Okay. Poisoning pots will come in handy later. Yeah, I figured. You know, sneak into like a noble's house or something and poison his food. Uh, is there a traitor? Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? Aye. Butterba, the pond keeper, is your man. He ought to be by the granary. At least that's the last place I saw him. The pot is a real thing. It's called Perpetual Soup or something. It's amazing. What do you think about Sigismund withdrawing? It was a stroke of good luck. I know everyone says how clever Sidivish is and all that, but it was a dangerous situation. That Sigismund is awful unpredictable. He abducts the king. Why does he sound so echoey? Brings foreign mercenaries into the heart of our country. God alone knows what he'll get up to next. All right. I'm trying to talk a lot to people. Firstly, because the dialogue is really good in this game. And second, um, I seem to get speech skill just talking to people, and I really want to get my speech skill up. Hmm. I wonder if I could chop wood as a job around here. Maybe make a little money? How is my money? I'm incredibly poor. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be buying a new suit to wear anytime soon. Uh... Heaven forbid. Hi! <laughs> you want to pay me? Uh, oh, we already know about all this. Sorry, I was just staring at the top of your head for a little bit. It's probably someone's home. I'm not going in there. Let's check our map. So we're in Talmberg. So the the proper town is out there. We're in the courtyard right now. Let's go to town. Apparently there's a battle arena in here. I don't know if we should be doing that. Like get our stats up for it or something. Maybe I should be doing that. Where is it? Sorry, this map is difficult. It's to my left. I do kind of wish there was a mini-map. I'm sad they removed like 11 skills from the game and gutted pull arms. Pull arms are basically unfinished and you could train them uh, but it does nothing because they're definitely unfinished. Oh, that sucks. Oh, is this the arena? I uh, guess I need to have an enemy first, don't I? Yeah. Unless some one of you guys run this place? Guess not. All right, well, let's let's explore around and find our way out of here. Because I'd like to go to the village. Am I allowed through here? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I think I have skill points. I should see if I can do that. Good day. See ya, Junko. Have fun what at work. Uh, nothing, I guess. Can I, I, I can just go through? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is the courtyard I was sleeping in earlier. Okay, I understand. Sorry, just kind of getting the lay of the land here. Okay, so apparently the way out is uh, straight and somewhere along that right wall. Was I told to stay in the keep? I thought I was just told to stay in town. You talk to me. Good day to you. What do you need? Good drive. You ever want to learn Spanish or any other language other than English? I mean, I want to, but I'm very, very bad at it. Um, I have no interest in learning Spanish personally. Uh, it wouldn't really be of any use to me. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Mm. I don't want to lie to the guy. I'm just going to say I got to bury my parents. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Well, I appreciate that he cares. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I'll let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. I don't want to rob a soldier. That sounds like a really terrible idea. Is there someone here who trades in goods? Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. Hmm. She's good-hearted, especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> for anything else, you should see a fellow called Votava. Folk aren't too fond of him, because he's as surly as a wet cat. But he yeah, that's how my mouth moves when I laugh. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. <laughs> Maybe this guy makes a finger mustache. Oh my god, that'd be incredible. I'm not robbing a guard. I'm gonna find a different way out of here. They made it very clear there are many solutions to each puzzle. I don't think I need to rob anyone. Because the traitor is apparently right behind me, so this big building. Mother of God. Mmm, sorry, didn't know it was your place. Thought it was a traitor. The fuck, game? Is this not... Is it not this building? Is it you? No, he's just sitting outside, not with his goods. I thought this guy was supposed to be surly. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. I don't have the coin. Can I maybe sell you some stuff? Wow, why am I so blurry there? This game's got some problems. Knock a guard and kill him with his own sword. Have I ever heard of Space Station 13? Do you mean Space Station 13? If so, still no. Uh, you can jump off the bridge and run down, but you can't get a horse. The only other way to leave is steal a guard's- Are those the only ways to leave? Oh my god. Uh... Treasure map? That's expensive. I could afford some mushrooms. Oh, is spa uh, Space Station 13, is that the- the- Oh, how do I describe it even? Is that that old freeware game where everybody's running a space station as like tile-based online RPG? Yeah, guys, don't don't tell me the answers to things unless I ask though, because I want to figure things out. You know, I'll ask every once in a while. All right, I don't think I need any of that then. So something I need to figure out. And Morgan, I'm happy you're here because I know you know more about the game than I do. I can press a plus button next to main level. What the hell does that do? 
progress through the game is useful comparing your stats to that of your friends. Uh, with every second level you reach, you can select one perk that allows you to make more uh, your character more specialized. Is there any downside to leveling up? Like, does it like scale with me or something? Yeah, I've played. Um, if Space Station 13 is the thing I just described that you're describing there, you know, uh, do your job, but in reality, something bad always happens. Yeah, I've played that before. Long time ago. If only you could steal guard's armor like his hair, but just, just crouch behind him and take it off of his body. Um, current XP, required, and progress. I wonder if I should be building up these stats right now. Capacity of your inventory. Vitality's health, right? Stamina. Is it just stamina? It seems to just be stamina. Perk, uh, you get vitality perk points at every third level up and then at level 20. Click on the plus. Oh, I figure that's how you make it go up. But I'm afraid of making one of these go up when I don't know if it's a good idea. You know? Like, maybe I should be spending on this. In fact, I don't even know how many points I have. Where does it say? Doesn't seem to say over here. I can't tell where it actually just tells me how many points I have to spend. Drinking is a stat. Makes you more resistant to the nefarious effects of alcohol. You'd think he'd have a decent amount of that considering he woke up drunk at the beginning of the game. See ya, Kaipon. Uh, stealth sound- reading, right! It makes sense that would be a skill. Considering, you know, literacy wasn't great back then. That's fascinating. Maintenance, repair kits, weapons of grindstones. I think I'd start with being able to be, like, blacksmithing a little? You think I'd be a decent blacksmith? I don't know, maybe just the kid of a blacksmith. Horsemanship, drinking, yeah. Horsemanship's the only thing I have skill in because I've ridden a horse a little. Click the plus and see what happens. All right. Reading is probably something I'm going to want. So... Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna click the plus in something that I for sure want. I don't think I'm going to do speech just because speech seems to be easy to get. I just talk to people. I want... Uh... Mm, reading. Oh, it's going down into perks for it, and I can't get any. I thought the game told me earlier I have perk points. Well, it's only got the logo here. Does that mean I can only get one of these, or... No? Minimum level two? Is it just this? Yes. Okay. I think I've understood the menu a little bit better then. Enables you to use advantage. Okay, so I can learn one of these. Okay. So when I'm hungry, it's worse, but I get hungry slower. Uh, when dirty, I have more charisma when talking to women. People will smell you a mile off reducing stealth. Oh, this is fascinating. Slower stamina during the day, faster at night. Increase the sight distance of fast travel. Not sure how useful that is. Also, chance of evading by 10%. That sounds good. Wanderer. He grew up in an impoverished condition, so comfort of beds uh, is in inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. These are all double-edged swords. I'm not sure I want those. I'm gonna just not do those yet. We'll hold on to that. See if I can bank it. All right, let's let's eat. What the hell are you doing? They won't come back. Why was that guy yelling? All right. Is my guy dirty right now? I'd imagine probably. Is this someone's property? No. Uh, I'm just kind of exploring around. So someone said I could jump off a bridge. And that's one way out. 
Pretty sure main level is all about gimmicky stuff. Okay. Well, am I gonna just break my fucking hey. ankle? What? Uh oh! Uh, can I really not jump off of that? I'm pretty sure I'm jumping plenty high to leap off of that. All right, maybe this bridge. That's not a far fall. Look the other way. Ah. Yep, there we go. Oh shit. I'm a I'm not a prisoner. God god fucking Bye now. I hope they didn't hear that there's a prisoner escaping. Uh unexplored place. Activity giver. I'm guessing it means a quest giver. All right, I'll keep walking this way. And let's hope these guards don't know. Or else they're probably going to drag me back, then I need to sneak out. Okay, ah, oh, come on. Did he hear? What? Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go, for Christ's sake. I have to bury my parents. You're going nowhere. Except back inside. Come on. I had... Mm. If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhallowed ground. And I'm stuck here, a stone's throw away. All right, shove me. I'll pretend you caught me off guard and I'll fall over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. No, he's nice about it. Poor fuck. fuck. Yay. Oh. He got a tummy ache. I'm getting away scot-free. Didn't even know you could get caught. This went around the edges at night. Oh. Are they behind me? Yes. <laughs> oh god, they're gonna outrun me. Even in their armor! Henry, you gotta get your shit together, dude. They're in armor. I've gotta be able to outrun them. Mm, don't even know if I'm going the right way. I just want to lose these guys. No, go away. <laughs> He's so close. I hope I'm going the right way. Hope he can't swim in his armor. I hope Henry knows how to swim, actually. He might not. Well, looks like he left me alone. Yeah. If you want to sneak into somewhere, press C. Yeah. I think I got away. Uh... Am I able to fast travel there? E. E. Oh. <laughs> Wish it told me what was stopping me. Do I need to be on the road or maybe I need a horse? Can't wait for modding. Aren't there already mods for the game? Objective failed to get a horse. Well, it was optional. We did it! Oh, is he gonna teleport us there? That's fair. Probably didn't want us to walk the whole way. God, performance is so bad when you get in these cutscenes. Can't fast travel in the prologue. Oh, right, we're still in the prologue, I guess. What are you going to do? Just find a shovel? What did you think you were going to see when you came here, Henry? Oh. 
So I've been playing Siege recently. Uh, I haven't played it in a while. Oh, we're not even at the town yet. We're a whole town away. Okay, well, is our quest just to get there? Find your parents? Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Don't want to do that accidentally. Are you alive? Hi. Answer to my prayer. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to fight you. The game never taught me how to block. It's Q, right? Ooh, I think he caught me. There we go. Well, he's dead. That's our first real fight. I'll pick up your sword. It's probably worth some money. Bandit. Okay. <sighs> well, it probably wouldn't hurt to have something on my head since I've got nothing normally. I wonder if any of these are better than what I wear. You know what? Uh, take all of it. We'll figure that out later. I don't want to loot the corpses. So Q is block, right? Just to make sure I understand. Because I think he might have nicked me there. Okay, let's follow this road. And, uh... Armor. Do I want to wear this? Small cap, usually worn under a helmet or hat. Yeah, it's better under a helmet or hat. So this would increase the noise I make? Yeah, because it's red. Just because I weigh more, I guess. Uh, lowers my charisma. Yeah, I don't think I want to wear that. Um, this is better armor. Well, I said, oh, it increases my my charisma over what I have. I guess it's just a better thing to wear, so I'll wear it. It's probably considered higher quality. Q is a block F to kick. Thank you. Old boots. This is what I'm wearing, right? Yeah. Are his foot wraps better? Slightly. Uh, how about this? Ooh, that's good. Yeah, that's better than what I'm wearing. Yeah, the leather jerkins are worse. Although, better visibility and armor. I think I'll stick with this for now. Should I take this scarf off? No. The scarf is useful. Thanks for following uh, Dragon's Fire King. Welcome to the flock. All right, we're just going to keep keep along the path. Hope we don't die to a bandit. All right, so our town is where the smoke is, I believe. We'll sprint a little more. I was walking up to talk to that guy one some earlier. I didn't even register that he could have been a bandit. I was thinking he's someone grieving over the lady. Well, it looks like someone got buried here. Ooh, high quality horse. Carve that up. It's the charcoal burner. Oh. Oh yeah, it is! Does he still have charcoal? No, he's got a carrot and pretzels. As much as I'd love a snack on the way, I think I'll be nice and not loot the corpses. Oh, someone was hung. That's creepy. Could we cut him down from there? No, we can't get up high enough. Why would anyone do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? If they aren't in your sword is it, they'll run away. Yeah, it makes sense why they'd run away at that. Gotta make lunch? Hope you have a good lunch. Uh... 
Okay. What are you doing there? Hey, who's there? Me. Who's there? Are you a bandit? You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. All right. Ooh, you were easy. You still alive? Mercy kill him. I could. Take your axe. Oh. Did he just die? I wanna... I wanna... Oh, his neck is broken. God. Whoops. <laughs> I was hoping to stomp him or something. Alright, uh, ooh, gloves. I don't think I'm wearing gloves. I should probably take those. A hood? Maybe that'll be good. Noble shoes! Hey! What are these? Knee pads? Elbow. That's a good idea. Elbow pads. Alright, let's equip this. So, let's go armor. Our high quality green shirt. Um, noble shoes. Yeah, charisma up. Much better than ours. We'll wear that. Serve as riding boots. Nice. These would make us easier to see, but better arm protection. I'll wear them, because we're probably going to get in some fights here. Linen hood. Um, it's not really much better than our scarf, is it? I'll wear it. And gloves. Yeah, that's an upgrade. How about weapons? I'm guessing... Because aren't I still using... What's-his-face's sword? Is it not under weapons? Yeah, this. Am I not... Yeah, I'm using Sir uh, Radzig's sword. These other swords aren't nearly as good as this, are they? Yeah, these other weapons aren't nearly as good. At the same time, should I really be bloodying this noble sword? I don't want to give him the sword back covered in blood. Does anybody know how I clean the sword? Because I want to clean it before I ever give it back to that guy. No, I didn't know I could save Teresa. <laughs> Alright, I have a whistle button. At a grindstone, I can clean it. We'll see if my dad's grindstone is still around or if it got uh, destroyed. Alright, I need to be careful. There could be bandits around here. Wish I could just use this rain to clean off the sword. Okay. So I want to turn around and go up here. Because they died just outside of the little castle gate bit. Um, where it turns into where a home was. They died kind of close to the tavern. It was up here, right? That's going to block me off. Looks like I'll need to circle around and find a different way in. Do I just switch games? I just felt like playing more of this. We did an hour of Thea. That'll be uploading next week. There's a guy. Get that stamina back up. Hey! Notice me! How deaf is this guy? There we go. Well, that was dumb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Nope, nope, nope. 
Yeah, don't back off. There we go. Yeah. Those people don't want to die, so they'll surrender. The victor can decide what to do with them and let them go. I mean, he's doomed, so... I do find it kind of funny that, um... Oh, bandage. That must be good. I find it kind of funny that, uh... We... Um... Oh god, I completely forgot what I was saying there. I find it funny that uh, we just started killing people, and there's no real uh, segue into killing people. <laughs> like, our guy isn't like having some kind of quandary about this. Cures light wounds. I will take that. Working boots. Yeah, I think I'm good without his equipment. Unless I should be taking all of his clothing to sell. I mean, it's covered in blood. New perk and strength. Oh, I didn't realize it was a new perk. Let's check that. Okay, we we can we can get Grave Digger and Stronghold. Blocking opponents' blows will cost less stamina. That sounds good. Carrying a dead or unconscious body won't uh, cost any stamina and will only burden you have as much. Oh, Stronghold sounds much better. Yeah, that sounds much better. Yeah. Yes, sir. Someone's looting our parents' body. Okay, where are we in town right now? Okay, yeah, they should be straight ahead. That's the castle. I'm the bailiff. He didn't run like me. He died with a sword in his hand. Oh. You have a coin. Ooh, I don't want to rob the dead. I'm not even taking your sword. No, I'm not robbing the dead. Henry's better than that. He didn't try and kill me. They're innocent villagers. You stood by his side and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. You didn't abandon them like me. Thanks for following the ranger. Welcome to the flock. Alright, here we go. You can find Bianca's body. I don't remember who that was. That was our girlfriend, wasn't it? So it's a good thing they weren't completely mangled. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I can't wait to run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside mother. Here. Under the linden tree. I forgot about that. At least I can do that much for you.
All right. We got to find a shuffle. Okay. Um, there was a general store, wasn't there? Maybe there's one left behind. I don't think our house had a shovel, did it? Guess we gotta start checking houses. We could get ambushed in here. Ah, is that someone with a guard dog? I don't know. I'm trying to get the drop on this guy in case he's like at some Tatar, but it sounded like he was speaking English. Which, I mean, in this game is they're speaking Czech, so... Could be a bandit. But it could also just be like somebody else trying to bury someone. And if so, then I, I don't want to like attack them. I hope they don't think I'm a bandit. I just want to get the drop on this guy. I don't know where he is. Must be around here somewhere. Oh, cutscene. Ah, he's got a shuffle. Get away, you must. Get away, you beast! What's going on? Vishak? What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's... Um, Mutt? <laughs> isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I get the feeling this guy's not that smart. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Is this the village drunk? Is that who this guy is? I don't recognize this guy. I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. The village drunk's name starts with a K. Uh, I think you're right, Devin. How did you manage to get away? How do you think... I ran. Fair. I'm not going to be able to intimidate this guy. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it anyway? I made it. <laughs> I helped make it. I would say, look, dude, I got a few swords. You can have one that's not meant for a noble who would behead you for it. My father forged it for Saradzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave with your sword. You can barely hear him over the rain. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? You really are a piece of shit, that is true. But I'm not going to antagonize this guy who's totally going to attack me. Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. I'm just going to say fuck you, because apparently I can't just end the dialogue. I see a cunt remains a cunt, no matter what the situation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. 
Okay. Hey, doggy, you want to back me up against this douchebag? Easy there, boy. Ooh, when he when he does that to me, when he's trying to grapple me, I'm not sure what I can do. Sorry, dog. I was trying to get around him so I didn't back up into the dog. It's funny, I've actually been learning about boxing recently. It's very fascinating to learn. Okay, get my stamina back. Whoa! God, how does he... He blocks much better than me. To be fair, I have zero unarmed skill. I'm really trying to just plow through his head, but I gotta get him to drop his guard by hitting other parts. I notice that some of the dots are kind of hollowed. I think I can't aim for many body parts, probably because I'm not at all proficient at fist fighting. Oh. Whoa! I didn't think he caught me with that first punch. Agility new level, nice. God, he's really throwing me around. This is bad. I tried to kick him there. It's got a bit of a wind up. Oh, got a new skill point in uh, unarmed. Nice, main level up. I'm liking this fist fight. Use a shit. He said, no, I don't. He's a douche. He doesn't deserve to die. The world needs villains who don't kill people, okay? If I don't have this guy to hate, I'm gonna have to hate somebody who doesn't deserve it. <laughs> I like that as my logic. The world needs a douche so that I don't have to be the douche. Come on! Yeah! Oh, His head rocked when I hit him there. I thought I had him. He doesn't seem to like when I really get in his grill and just throw a combo, but he's blocking pretty well. Whoa! I cranked him in the back of the head! Come on, dude! You giving up? You giving up? Get over here. Get over here. Fuck, he was saying I could tackle him. Fuck, did he leave the shovel? You have much more health than him, you're winning. Yeah. One by attrition on that guy. I'm sure I'll run into him again one day. Drop the bar. Yeah, I should have tackled him down and d did an elbow drop. Cave in his chest. Did he drop the shovel around here? Fuck, I don't think he dropped the shovel. Oh. Oh, thank God. Dog, I just want to bury his body. He doesn't seem to be angry at me. Can I, uh... No? Okay, I'll just leave you be. Well, the clinch is the grapple thing, is called. I think it's a, I think it's strength and warfare. Okay, so he was beating... He was basically out grappling me there, and I'm assuming it's because he had better combat stats than me. Not sure why the shovel isn't a weapon. Yeah, I know, right? He was just using it as a weapon. Um, guess it counts as other? No. Interesting. Um, but I have a shovel now. Quest item? Spade's a quest item. Okay. Uh, right. I didn't take any of those because they are double-edged and I don't know if I want them. Other than Scout, which just seems better. Increases sight distance of fast travel and also increases evade. That just seems good. Okay. Um, I didn't unlock any new points for any of that. Okay. None for that. Okay, I don't think I have any other skill points then. So I'll leave it be. Well, I'm happy I beat the shit out of that guy. Because uh, fuck him. I swear if I go dig this hole and I go back to get my parents to put them in the hole and the dog's humping them, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, right. The tree is on the other side of the wall. Because I forgot the tree is right next to our house, isn't it? 
Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, bushes are way more solid in this game than you'd think they'd be. Alright, I gotta keep an eye out. I'm not convinced that all the bandits are gone. Man, I really wish I could have a side save file so I could have like an off-stream playthrough of this. Because I really like this game so far. This game's really cool. He'll be your dog meat. I could use a companion. This is a good place. You're gonna like it here. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing like a use prompt anywhere. Can I equip the spade? No. Without a spade to dig a grave or dig for treasure, that's interesting. You'll end up with a lot more dirt under your nails and probably ripped off fingernails. How do I... Oh, there we go. It's just in a very specific spot. You should be able to have a stream save and a personal save. How do I do that, though? Wouldn't they be under the same save slots? I don't want one to overwrite the other. Aw, poor dog. I'm not even a dog person, but you can't help but love dogs. I've always been a cat person. I don't know if I'd be very good at taking care of a dog, but I still like dogs. So... Let's get to it. Do you mean you can only have two games at a time, like TWO? I'm just making sure that I understand what you're saying right, Devin. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Okay, so if I make- if I hit new game, would its save list be separate? I just don't want to get the two confused, you know? I, w I would hate to override the stream playthrough by accident and ruin the stream for everybody. Um, I, I feel pretty shit if I ruined your guys' streams like that. They just fall in half, organs Dunno. pour out. You're not strong enough to lift him? I lifted that, like, armored bandit out there. Or is it the emotions are hard for him to handle? How am I gonna do this? Do you need some help? Ah. Uh. Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? What do you want? Is Bishek? I should have tackled the Who fucker. Do you think we are? Franciscan brothers. <laughs> Great. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you, anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's gonna be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down. Oh man, this is gonna be difficult. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Dumbass. Why would you use such an unwieldy weapon? Okay. I think it's safe to say I shouldn't be blocking that thing, because it would just plow through me. Whoops, I hit one to draw my sword, and uh, it put my sword away. I didn't realize my sword was already out, because I didn't see it by my side. Well, great. Fucking great. He's gonna steal the sword, and I'm gonna have to get it back. I told you how it would end. Fuck, what an embarrassing way to lose. I'm guessing I could have won that fight if I was good enough. The chief is going to lie. It's new, isn't it? 
And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father See never would have imagined it would be. You your... can't beat him? Really? I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help me? Why did the dog not help you? Maybe the dog no will save me now. You did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you help forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> God. Na 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 na. Am I supposed to recognize her? Games are over. Sir, disperse this rebel. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Seriously, am I supposed to recognize her? Because I don't. I prefer turkey fuckers. No thanks. <laughs> Great line by Siphon. Is that the girl who asked for nails? Oh, Teresa? Oh, I didn't save her. Sorry, Teresa. I tried, lady, but I died on the playthrough where I whistled. I thought me getting on the horse distracted them. I thought it was weird that in the beginning of the game, they have your character staring at another woman when he's already got a girlfriend. It's because apparently the girlfriend is dead now. Come on, dude, you got that, like, long pike thing? You're not even gonna, like, cut that rope and let the body down? Wait, is this the end of the game? No, I, I think it's the end of the prologue. I don't think we're dead. I think we're knocked out and severely wounded. In real life, I'm fairly sure that club hit my head, and he would definitely just die. Uh, like, he must have insane internal bleeding. Oh, fuck, we're still in the prologue. MGS5 doesn't seem that long now. <laughs> yeah, but the MGS5 prologue was way more boring. I had a lot of fun with this prologue. Oh, yeah, I'd be dead a thousand times over. Even with modern medicine, taking a club to the head like that, you're probably dead. We very much don't have modern medicine in this game. I think I picked up some bandages earlier, guys. Maybe we could use that. Ooh, someone's in the pillory. Yeah, the MJS5 prologue did have a flaming whale. This was more fun, though. MJS5 is a very fun game. The prologue sucked. <laughs> it was worth going through the prologue to play the rest of the game, though. Oh my god, I'm having a ton of fun with MGS5. Phantom Pain, specifically. Ground Zeroes is not MGS5. Unless you have a strong you didn't have a pretty fucking strong head to survive that. It's a hell of a club shot I took. Man, I feel bad. I lost that fight so badly. Oh, am I having a nightmare? I have a sword out. I don't know if I should have a sword out. Save your parents. Okay, I guess I should have a sword out. Okay. The compass says to go this way. Hi. Ha ha! <laughs> the game didn't seem see that shit coming. <laughs> oh. I don't think what I do in this nightmare fucking matters. <laughs> the game doesn't seem to to understand that I didn't actually hit a woman. Um because it's like careful of your reputation, bro. Whoa. Going from one target to another in this lock-on system is very strange. Okay, I shouldn't have swiped there. Oh, I thought he was gonna still come at me. I gotta get better at blocking. I don't think I fully understand how blocking works. 
Like, do I block in different directions? Oh god, this is MGS5. I'm in a coma. Oh, I can't kick her. Um, this way, I guess. Yeah, this game, this prologue actually allows you to play the game and learn how to play. Whereas the MJS5 prologue is almost entirely hold W and control the camera a little. Henry is big boss. <laughs> Sorry guys, we spoiled it for everybody. This is the origin story of big boss from Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, he's actually, he's actually some teenager from the outskirts of Prague. Hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Zed targeting, yeah. Old Zelda style Zed targeting. I liked the Zed targeting in those games, actually. I thought it was a pretty good system. I guess that's why they kept it for so long. The bald dude is your multiplayer snake. Holy shit! I never thought about it that way. The bald dude, uh, Sigmund, does look a lot like, um, at least I think that's, no, I, I don't think that's the bald dude's name, but the bald dude does look a lot like my multiplayer character in, in Metal Gear Solid 5. Holy shit! How have I never noticed? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? What am I wearing? Did you change me? I guess I was in bloody clothing. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Your intelligence is now zero. You took a club. <laughs> you took a 30-pound club with a steel bracer to the back of the skull. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't mm. know where else to go. What happened? Rattay's next to Scalitz, isn't Do it? remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done Bald dude's called Run- No, I was you thinking of the guy with the mustache. The bald guy with the mustache? Did you go back Some kind of commander? It was madness. You slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I- I wanted to bury them. I had to- Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. The whole uh, good Christian thing that they're always bringing up, I kind of like that. It's it's very historically accurate that they that everyone be very religious. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse, but at least the fever's broken. Uh, yeah, what were you doing in Scarlet's? What in the world were you doing in Scarlet's? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. Mark. I think that was his name. You know, big mustache guy that um, that ordered the attack on our hometown. That guy looks like our multiplayer snake. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Wow, they came all the way out to look for me. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent He must be fucking Robert. pissed at me. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. 
By multiple ice snake, do you mean the face you made at the beginning of the game? Yeah. You know, with the mustache and the weird bald head and the weird proportions. The Were we just floating for a second? Uh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Fair. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? I want to get a job. Well I want to get make some money. There. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. Fair. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Thank you. Very sorry to have a very, very long opening. Yeah, it is a very long opening, hey, is youngster. it? Hey, youngster! Oh, hey! You the uncle? I need to thank you personally. I'm alive because of you. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? I got clubbed in the head two weeks ago. I'm not sure I'm a clever lad anymore, but I'll give it a shot. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward <sighs> enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else, I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Are you telling me to do grave robbing? Because I'm not interested. Okay, tell me at least what it is first. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. Mm, don't like that this guy. guy dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the bible it's still a human body only it's missing a soul why be disgusted by something created by god 
No. Reputation is important in this game. I'm not going to be a fucking grave robber. I will do the hard labor and just pay you. That was a pretty speech, but you're still talking about a filthy deed. I won't do it. I value my honor higher than coin. I gave you a chance to work off your debt. Don't think you can wriggle out of it. I want my Groshen back, and quick. Otherwise, I'll make your life hell. Believe me. I beat the fuck out of a guy with my fists in the middle of the damned streets of a corpse-filled town in the pouring rain and mud. Don't you threaten me. Oh. I'm gonna eat his pancake and there's nothing we he can do about it. All these fucking <laughs> completely flat hardened pancakes. Oh, is this my stuff? Is that all in the chest there? Or was that my inventory? That's in it. Okay, this is all my stuff. Let's take it back before I go forgetting. Thanks for following. I am Carl. Welcome to the flock. And Harun y Yusuf. Welcome to the flock. Delquez. Welcome to the flock. I hope I got all those names right. This is all my stuff, right? Yeah, take all. Oh, we can cook things. Didn't know that was a thing. I can eat from the pot, too. Let's do that. You think the criminal will stab me in the back? Fair. That's a fair concern. Okay, so first things first. Let's get our clothes on here. Uh, what's the quality stuff here? We definitely want the gloves. We want the noble shoes, that's for sure. No reason not to have the elbow pads on. We lose charisma on some of this stuff, actually. Yeah, that's not good for charisma. So our charisma right now is six with what we're wearing. That's bad for charisma. That's bad for charisma. Man, what the hell isn't? That's really bad for charisma. Probably because it's really dirty peasantry stuff. You know what? This is all probably bad for charisma because it's dirty. Except this isn't dirty. I guess it's just bad in general because it makes me look like a, di a bandit. Yeah, poor people clothes. Well, for the sake of charisma, I guess I'm just wearing... <laughs> I guess I'm just wearing this. Right, I gotta have a weapon on my on my hip as well. I have an axe, right? Uh, I can have an axe or my sword. Or a poor quality arrow. I don't think stabbing with an arrow is gonna get much done. Well, I mean, an, an axe? I could just be a woodcutter. They don't seem to have an issue with me having a hunter's... A hunting sword on my hip. Unsuited for stabbing, that's good to know. Many of them lack cross guards, making it worse for blocking. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to have a cross guard on it. So if I were to block with it, it could just run down. Uh, they, their side could run down my sword's blade and go right into my hand. Just knock my knuckles off my hand. That'd be bad. Or at least with an axe if they run down it. Well, I could hook with an axe. Stab. The stab is still better with this than on an axe, which is fair. And the blunt force of an axe is much better. I think I'll take the axe. It's wood-related. You should do anything wood-related. It lives up to your Canadian stereotype. Well, I have an axe. Maybe I could do some wood-cutting as manual labor around town. Let's go out into the world. Hey! Look, I'm more charismatic. I, I have noble's boots. Have you eaten yet? Yeah. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? The soup? I did. I'm glad you I didn't eat the pancakes. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we don't know much about this town. We don't know much about the world. I think we might have lost our whole map of the world due to getting bashed over the head. Fuck you. Alright. What are the objectives? I'm sorry, at animal husbandry? Is that a skill? I might learn about more skills as I go, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure where I saw animal husbandry, what, what menu that was on. Side quest, a good thief. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Can I untrack that? 
Yes. Get father's sword back. Find this guy and avenge my parents. Yeah. Mark Vart. We can also see Sir Radzig. That's probably our quest right now. You just know the clouds look really shitty. Uh, not a cloud in the sky, so I can't check right now. Unless you mean on the map. I like how these look. I like how it's like this old map style. Actually, those clouds make me think a little bit of uh, Don't Starve, doesn't it? You get your cl clothes laundered and wounds attended to at the bathhouse. Which you walk past on the way to Raddy makes you all squeaky clean. I could, I, I would appreciate that. We are very low on coin because I refuse to loot those bodies that had a coin on them. We got to find a way to make some money. Um, maybe if we could find a merchant who would buy some of our clothing from us. I mean, it's largely dirty, but you know, I'm sure they could make a net profit off washing it and keeping clothing. We have some stuff we don't need. Maybe I could sell that sword. Alright, I guess we're going for a walk then. Let's get to know the town. I think we're kind of on the outskirts. A tanner. Maybe we'll get a little speech skill talking to people. What kind of governor is Sir Hannes? There's an axe coming out of me. Is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sir Hannes takes over. That will be a sorry day. Maybe they gotta patch that clipping issue right there. What's life like in Ratai? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. As not many towns have that. And we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armorer. We got a beautiful church and fine alehouses. Someone didn't tell the voice actress how to say apothecary. Oh my god. Uh, you don't loot bodies, but this is an RPG. No, I loot bodies. I will not loot the bodies of innocent people. That village was our hometown, and everyone was killed in cold blood. I will not loot their bodies. This game is all about reputation, after all, and I'm not sure the game would track the reputation of that because no one was around to see it, but I did not do it. I have my own morals. How do the rats I'm playing the character, you know? Well, they have it tough, no doubt. But oh, I can clean it in troughs, but not totally clean it. Good to know. Will they be living on our streets? Nothing good will come of this. What if one of them's brought the plague with him? Fair. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? I don't know if it's just old wild tales, but I heard truly terrible things. What accent is that? What do you sell? And I would like to sell from uh, sell to you, if you're willing to take some of this stuff. That is. Would you even purchase this sword? Where does it say how much this would be worth to her? Your wealth, trader wealth, reputation, trading items for. Where does it say what this would be worth to her? I don't even know. Oh, over here. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I don't need this, but I could put it on under a helmet. So let's hold on to it for now. I definitely don't need the old green shirt anymore. The game is bugged and random things can tank your reputation. That's worrying. Okay, I don't want to sell all of this because some of it I definitely want to wash. Like, I don't need these old boots. I have noble shoes. They're Czech? Yeah, but she doesn't sound Czech. Like, I mean, we're all supposed to be Czech, but everyone has a different accent. Mm, maybe I'll hold on to this. Actually, this is probably better, isn't it? Oh, but it brings charisma down despite the um, not being dirty. We'll sell it. Now this we might actually need is body armor, if we think we're going to get in a fight. Leather jerk, and so that's probably better for it, isn't it? It is better for it. We'll sell that then. And I think I'll hold on to the rest of this. 
That's worth a lot of money, but I don't want to save my sell items thing. Uh, hey, Morgan, wasn't there a patch today? Where you can save an exit now without drinking a potion? Do you know if that was in today's patch? Because I know there was a patch today. So I will get 23. What's the currency named again? I want to make sure I get the currency right. Because I naturally I want to call it like dinars or ducats or something. But I'm fairly sure it isn't either of those. I'm, I think I'm cool with selling all of that. Let's close the deal. I could haggle. I don't think I'm a particularly good haggler. What what is the haggling like? Can we do something about the price? Why not? I'm worried I'm gonna fuck this up. Okay, so let's learn this new mechanic. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay with W and S and confirm with E. The trader then responds to an offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for a response. Okay. Original price. Okay, so original price is a silver line going to the right. My money at the top. Current offer is a gold line on the left. Trader's last offer is a silver line on the left. Groshen? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Groshen? Groshen. Okay. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means that either you or the trader doesn't have enough money. Dragging out the haggling uh, with one offer after another will gradually try their patience and eventually drop the haggling completely. Okay, so I, I can't keep it going on forever. You can see how close you are to getting to that point from the trader's icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. Okay, every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. So I don't want to piss them off, because then in the long term I might lose money selling to them. Probably buy this game later, I know, right? Getting Oblivion flashbacks? Man, I love Oblivion. Although Oblivion's haggling system was really, really bad. It wasn't well thought out. The speech system in that game was really dumb. What a dumb mini game that was. Okay, so this is not time-based, which is good to know. So this is the original price. Okay, so it would be better to go lower on this. Interesting. I could haggle up and get less money. Let's go for just a little bit more. Agree. A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little, and we'll agree. Fair. Very well. I agree. Hey, we we squeezed out like an extra buck out of that. That's not bad. And it didn't seem like I pissed her off at all. And I bet you I got some skill for that too. Is, is haggling a skill, or is that under speech? It's probably under speech. Yeah, our speech seems like we're getting a little closer to four. I bet you we got a little bit of skill out of that. Um, final offer, is that haggling based? When a trader loses patience during haggling, you get one more chance. Eh. Increase speech level by three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You can't have it and the lowborn perk at the same time. Ah, uh, commoners like us more. You'll see counterpart stats and skill checks. That sounds like a good one. Okay, so we just made a little bit of money. Um, ah, what do? You, what the hell oh, are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> uh, what do you sell? By the way, I forgot to check. I'm guessing clothing. <laughs> well, the clothing that I was selling you. Okay, hides, which I don't have a use for yet. Doggy. I don't think I need to hang around here. It just seems like this whole place is just this tanner's business. Can I pick these flowers? Oh. Dandelions. Beautiful. Maybe I can find some use for that. Make a uh, herbal tea. Can't believe you caught a stream on weekday. Conk donk. Oh, hey, conk donk. It's gonna be so weird getting used to people's old names. Did the dog follow you? 
Nope. I know that the dog from the town came to this town, because we saw him in the cutscenes. Okay, let's go here. Eat them, you'll get the recipe for a potion. Okay. If that's how that works, that's weird. Let's gather a few more then. We're gonna need to find a trough. Poppies. Study them, get some LP. Points if you get the reference. Some sage. These probably don't really weigh anything, do they? Ooh. Nettle. Ooh, good thing I'm wearing gloves. I've touched stinging nettle before growing up in the countryside. That sucks. Herbalism level. That was really easy. I just picked some flowers. Maybe I should keep doing that. I wonder if there's something I should really invest in. Maybe I can sell potions for a lot of money? Maybe that's a good way to make money to pay off my debt. Brewing potions. I mean, this might take a while. Alchemy in this game is interesting. Hope it's more interesting than in Oblivion. Oblivion didn't have the most interesting, uh, the most interesting, uh, potion brewing. Thanks for following Kong Tonk. Welcome to the flock. I like how it's people who are already part of the community that I'm doing that with, but fuck it. You still get welcomed anyway. Uh, what is our herbalism at? We're getting it up very quickly. We get our first skill point at five, it looks like. Okay. Wow, if you have enough fragrant herbs in your inventory, you get plus two to charisma. That's good. Or you can make your horse less shy. Troughs are big round tubs, not horse ones. Okay. As we know, uh, per my Wikipedia page, I can't read. That is true. Uh, and that explains why I have a reading skill of zero, just like in real life. I don't know how to read. Our short-lived, uh, as we learned from our short-lived Wikipedia page, that where all it said was MDB never learned how to read. Apparently I can't eat the dandelions. Oh, you were making a fucking Oblivion joke earlier. I just now caught on you were making an Oblivion joke. God damn it. I just now clocked on that you were clearly just making an Oblivion joke. What is wrong with me? Am I allowed in here? Oh, lockpick. Probably not. Anyone home? Hi. You're not even interested? Fucking Siphon's laughing at me. Fair enough. I probably deserve to be laughed at for that one. Who just left this food cooking? I mean, sure. It seems strange to me that it's this easy to get food. Wait, can I cook with this? Um. No. I was hoping I could cook some of the herbs, maybe? We came here to laugh at you. Well, you're gonna get a lot of material, guys. <laughs> this is one of my streams. Okay, let's go up to town. Come on, thank you. Are my boots dirty? Probably, I imagine they get dirty very quickly. Yeah, they're dirty. Oh God, how are my clothes so dirty already? It's because I was rummaging through bushes. It's overeating that you need to watch out for, okay. How hungry are we? We're well nourished. Wonder if uh, Twitch has a way to change account names? I think there is a way. I think it's in your settings. Hi. Uh, I'm just a man covered in dirty rags. Am I allowed in? Who are you, and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Mm. I'm his blacksmith? Kind of a lie. I had to tell him what happened to his sword. 
I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. Okay. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Okay. Is that a tinfoil hat? His, yeah, I think the texture didn't load on this hat properly. You guys want to look at each other when you talk to each other? Or maybe move your mouths? Everything's well hidden, and it won't be sprouting legs and running off. And how are we supposed to live in the Oh, she is. On dirt and air? Right. I don't care about their bickering. Lady? What's, what's wrong with you? Hey, Malaria. How does life in rat eye suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take Can we not in, talk about what you were just doing? Just left us to fend for ourselves. Or how your hair is clipping through your head? Damn about us. Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was an account of our silver and how Sir Radzik sides with the king. Oh, she's a beggar. Okay. God bless. Hi. Wait. This is the fucker from our hometown who owed a debt to my dad. I see you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father. And he's dead. Yeah, I inherited. Yeah, I inherited. If I just call him a bastard, he's gonna fight me. I can outnoble this guy. Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Fine, I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Gotta hate this guy. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. Talk. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. No, fuck you. No way. This smells as fishy as a week old cart. Then, I don't know what I can do for you. Well, I'll get you to do something like- I bet you he would dig up the grave for me if I asked him to. Baskets for goods and torches for the night. I have it all. I'll keep that in mind. Weaponsmith. Might need to hit him up at some point. I want to hit up a tailor. I need some new clothing. I'm not going to get far dressed like this. This is like a proper city. This is nice looking. What is this? What does that mean? Hi, what do you sell? Jamie couldn't name the guy John Luke? I know. Good day to you. What do you need? What's life like in Ratai? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns had that. And we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armorer. There's not we many towns to have that. What? Houses. Is he supposed to speak, like, not very well? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what do you sell? Mostly food, by the looks of it. Got a few weapons, not many. Some jackets. Good for charisma, this one. Very expensive, out of my price range. Got a lot of foods. He's got schnapps. Expensive. Some bandages. Looks like he's got a little of everything. He has a blacksmith kit and a cobbler kit. Tanner kit. I didn't know this game had crafting. Huh. Okay.
All right. Have we found a tailor in here? Is that really as zoomed in as I can get? It's just a fucking mess. It isn't for crafting, it's for repairs. Okay. There's a bakery. What's that? Ah, ale house. Some kind of tavern. Oh, thanks for the host. Wish I could give you a coin, but uh, someone's wife. I don't know if I knew your husband, but I know you're his wife? Sorry to interrupt, but it sounded like you might need some help with something. What? No, nothing. What did you hear? That you might have hidden... You heard wrong. There's nothing hidden anywhere. And you leave my man alone. Understand? As you wish. I... God bless. Was I supposed to have overheard something that I didn't overhear? Strange. Betty was always good with her hands. You're right there. You have a name, so you must be important. I'm just gonna interrupt you. you. Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm, I'm just interested. Refugee, and I'd like to try my luck against you. No, I don't. Hang on, I know who you are, and I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? I don't think I have silver. Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself, and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labor, but you, you've got coin. Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his ass or runs, loses. And no knives, axes, or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Okay. I'll probably fight him later. I'm happy that I know, because I'd be interested in that. A cobbler is here. Maybe I could get some new shoes. Had to leave near the beginning of the end now. Uh, come three hours later and I'm streaming this? Yeah. So there's a few taverns in town. I guess that makes sense. It's a big town. Still haven't found a tailor yet, though. Right, I should probably hit up the lord of the castle, shouldn't I? So he's at the other end, yeah. I was hoping I could wash my clothes before I get to him at least. I mean, I'm I'm meeting up with a, with a lord. I mean, he's a baron. I think he's just the owner of the castle, so he's just a baron. But still, he's well above my head at a blacksmith's apprentice. You want to punch Henry's face? I like Henry! Henry's a nice kid. He's got to grow up fast. Rather curious to how you'll make your character. Is archery a thing in this game? As far as I'm aware, archery is a thing in this game. I know there's like archery competitions. Kid, he's like 40. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's like 20. Alright, apparently the castle's over here. Is this the right way? No. This way, towards the tower. Well. Uh, that guard is a wizard. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. 
and not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed He's glitching all over. Interest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm gonna find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Am I allowed through? We're, we're cool that I go through? Hold on. Fuck off, Rogers. Rogers always sends me text messages saying, Hello, Jennifer. Uh, we'd like to let you know about this exclusive deal for you. I'm not Jennifer. I'm not Jennifer. Sorry, I'm not Jennifer. I am not my mother. I don't know why you send me these texts, Rogers. Good lord. So incompetent. Is this the way in? Hello? Am I allowed in? Well, we can't talk, so I can't ask. Um, guess not. Is he up here? When does this game take place? Uh, 1403. Uh, hi. Guess I'm just allowed in. I guess they figure if I got past the front guards, I must be allowed here. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. <laughs> Deep fucking shit. I like you. Don't you agree? I, I like you, Lord Italian. Brandon. I know but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Birchstein is Good coffee. as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at No, Rattay. Manuel spelt sure my name my right. Ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Birchstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Oh, you know what, Morgan? I like to speak ill of your people, Sir M Morgan said his well, face was based off Daniel no lost uh, the Vavra. The his face. I think I've seen him on Twitter. Been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land. <laughs> the hand gesture for that, that's great. That Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns I like me, these sir, guys. How a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. Hi, guys! You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. Fair. It wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. 
<laughs> They're fair to your rip on Henry. Was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't I lost your sword because of that, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah. The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still... It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first, if there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or... Man, they, they really like ripping on the friar. Be that as it may. Why I really you... like this dialogue. Let's get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the Fair. last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with Fair. his actions, and now he wants to Fair. <laughs> So Capon's right. Yeah. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he you can know, get it back, I pegged this guy wrong. I really thought this guy was going to be a villain. I'm liking him now. Peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Good. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. But Jesus, you're still like... you're the one Brandon, paying. meet Lord Brandon. <laughs> Captain Bernard? It's like you if you had my shitty hairline. The bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. All right. Uh... So, uh, Finn Balor is now under the command, uh, or rather, he's under the tutelage of Lord Brandon. Yeah, he is fatter than you. I think he's about your height, though. And the hair is not dissimilar, a different hairline, though. His beard's a little longer than yours, too. 
So I just got an achievement. Uh, join Sir uh, Radzig's garrison. It's called Awakening. So I guess I'm officially a soldier now. I guess I've moved up in the world a little, you know? Do you want to know more stupid Spanish stuff? Sorry, you were saying something to me earlier and I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene, but it scrolled off screen now. Yeah, you are military now, so yeah, it makes sense. Or at least you will be in a couple weeks, if not already. I don't know exactly when they start considering you to be military. If it's when you've said that you're going to show up for service, or when you literally show up. Um, as of today? Okay. You still good for Sunday's pay-per-view? I can paste it uh, if I scroll up. You mind so? Yeah, go for it. Just, just paste it, and I'll read it. You enrolled today, so you are now uh, an aviator. Nice. Everyone uh, congratulate Brandon. He's officially in the military as of today. And you better still be good for Sunday or else I'm going to be pissed because it's going to be an awesome pay-per-view. It's looking like uh, Elimination Chamber is going to be great. It's going to be your first time seeing an Elimination Chamber match, I think. There's a men and a women's one, too, so you get to see two of them. Kind of like the Rumble. All right. Um... Good thief. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. Um, I can beat a few people. Oh, those are the brawlers around town. Let's uh, let's not have that marked off for now. Uh, in the Yi video, it makes me think that um, in the training, someone who spoke Spanish did it by accident or funniness in the translation because it shows exclamation point and question mark. We flip in the start of the sentence. If we use them in Spanish. Okay, sorry. Uh, I, I believe what you're saying is that um, you're, you're wondering if the person who translated that video game was translating it from Spanish. It's funny you say that. The game only ever came out... Um, the game we're talking about is Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Tensetsu on the Super Nintendo. It only came out in Japanese, but there are untranslated parts of the game and very rare hidden dialogue that are in French. Bad French, actually. Um... That makes me wonder if this was translated to another language by multiple people and then translated into English. So you saying like it could possibly be bits of Spanish in there that were translated to English and that explains some of the weird translations. I believe that definitely because there were also French bits and that doesn't seem to make any sense because the game like there was never a French version of the game released. And the only official translations, I believe, were translated by fans into English. I think it was Spanish and French people who translated, and what they might have done is translate into those languages, then into English, because they thought it might be easier? I'm not sure. The translations of that game are very poor. Let's go in Spanish would be, uh, like, Vomino's. Yes. With an upside, upside down exclamation point, and then the... The what I would consider regular because I I speak English at the end. Um, I think that could be part of it, but the other part could be um, ye is what they would say when you exit a shop without buying something, and I think what they're trying to say is buy. Um, but I don't know if that's like a Spanish thing of maybe it was literally a typo. They didn't put the B in, and they had the two exclamation points, and there wasn't a character in the game for an upside-down exclamation point, so they just did a regular one. I could see that being a problem of if it's a mixture of Spanish and a genuine typo. I could definitely see that happening, because the B is nowhere close to the keyboard compared to the exclamation point. Maybe it is on other language keyboards, I don't know. Uh, but I could... Sometimes when I come out of these menus, people are flying. Okay, it's not happening this time. I'm sorry, does she not have a face? Okay, I think her face just didn't load earlier. When I come out of pause screens, sometimes a weird shit happens, I swear. Yeah, you're gonna help, have to help me with Spanish every once in a while, because I don't think I'm learning Spanish anytime soon. It seems like a difficult language. I'm not good with languages this at English. I like to pride myself on English, but I've never been good at learning other languages. Maybe it has something to do with the whole can't picture things in my head thing? I don't know. Alright, just wandering around town a little. Does anybody know if they patched the game to add save and exit? Because I know a patch came out earlier today, and I don't know if that was a save and exit patch. Does anybody know? Fatima Tech saying, are you learning Spanish in there? I'm getting mad. 
Which is a hilarious joke that I only half get. I think she still wants me to learn Arabic, which I wouldn't mind learning a little bit of Arabic. I'm just, I'm terrible with languages. That's the problem. I don't know what it is. I've got a really hard time learning different languages. Spanish is hard for English people because almost everything has a gender pronoun or something similar. French kind of does, and I live in Canada where we had to learn French mandatory, but I can't speak almost a word of French. Fatima says my Spanglish is on point, however. Yeah, she's she works with a lot of people from different uh, Southern American countries that speak different different dialects of Spanish. Uh, so she's she's had to learn a little bit here and there. So what are these? Quest tipster. Okay, maybe I could pick up a side quest while I'm in town. Secretly teach him to be Spanish. I don't know how you're going to secretly teach me a language, guys. And I'm going to stop checking my phone now. Because I, I can't do that forever. As much as I'm sure Fatima would love to vicariously uh, guest on the show. She will have to guest on the show when we get another XLR cable in here and just get a microphone set up over here. Because I have the microphone and I have enough spaces on my audio interface. Um, is this the tavern? Right here? This is the tavern. Um, I just need to get that whole thing. So I even have another um, crane arm for it. Uh, wow. Uh, things are things are really intense in this tavern here. Are, do you work here? You sell bandages? Cheap beer. I thought it said bedroll for a second. I'm like, ooh, I could use that. Sleep outside. Get robbed. Fine wine. That's expensive. That's rich for my blood. I'm still quite poor. Shit, is this the Dark Brotherhood hideout? Shit, it does look a little like it, doesn't it? Silence the Golden and Other Myths. I mean, I can't afford the book, and I don't think I know how to read it. My reading skill is zero. I believe I'm illiterate. Why didn't you pick up your shit from the house? Um, uh, I mean, I think I did. Uh, I'm carrying a decent amount of stuff. I'm just not wearing a lot of my clothing because a lot of it's dirty and it would lower my charisma. I'm, I was hoping to find a trough that I could wash it in. Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the guy who they kept ripping on in that conversation earlier. It's interesting that you're just wandering the street like this. That's actually really cool. Can you teach me how to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that, actually. No point asking you about any of this. Oh, except for you work directly under uh, Lord Brandon, so I, I could ask about him. What kind of governor is Sahanush? Sahanush is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that wastrel Sahans takes over. That will be a sorry day. Yeah, I'm just not wearing my dirty clothes right now. I don't want to mess up my charisma, because I knew, like, I... What are you doing? The fuck off, you ran into me. Uh, I didn't want to ruin my charisma when I knew I was going to be talking to nobles, so I tried not to wear anything, like, really dirty. Because most of my clothing is dirty, or something a bandit would wear. Um, So, I, I do have my noble boots on, which helps a little, but they are pretty dirty. I got some nobles boots off a bandit who probably stole them off a dead noble. The pen is mightier than the sword. I think we've all learned from my vitality stat in this game, everybody. Uh, the penis mightier than the sword. I love that joke. Get it? Pen is... I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> I'm from Scarlet's good folk. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. You owe me. You better be giving me that coin. You owe my father. And I had to convince you. I had to convince you. No. You just do your thing. I'll get that money from you later. Discovered a grindstone. I mean, I wouldn't mind hitting up a grindstone, would I? Um, I wish I could zoom in more than this. I could set markers. That's nice. I want to zoom in more than this. 
sorry, what is it pointing me to? Oh, I do have my previous place. It's just very far away. There's a scribe very far away. I want to zoom in more to see what this grindstone is. It's not on my mini map. Is it in here? Am I allowed to use it? I guess. Sharpen up that axe. Oh, this is a whole mini game. Well, I'm in, I'm a blacksmith, so I well blacksmith's apprentice. So I figure I know how to use this a bit. If you want to maintain a bladed weapon, uh, you can save repair kits and hone it yourself on a grindstone. Which you can find at every smithy. Just approach the grindstone, press E. Okay. The weapon must be honed along the whole length of the blade. Okay, well this is just an axe. It doesn't have a very long blade. There's a trough behind you, isn't there? Thanks for letting me know. I, I didn't notice. The blade is only held at the correct angle. If the angle's too shallow, the edge won't be sharp, and if it's too steep, you'll dull the blade. You must keep the grindstone turning by pressing space. So I hold it, or do I like mash it? Um, exert the correct pressure. Also pressing space to please your stamina. To press up on the thing. Okay. I don't know if I need to keep scrolling it at the right speed or what. Sparks flying. Okay. Black smoke is bad. Sparks flying is good. Well honed blade is smooth and shiny. This is really fascinating. All right, I'm just gonna do this a bunch, everybody. I'm doing it. All right. Okay. Okay, I need to mash it then. That's smoke. Okay, some sparks. Okay, it's okay. Stamina's getting bad. We'll just rest. All right, we're doing it. We, we were headed too angled. Here we go. See, there we go. We're fixing it up. Put a little more pressure on that. Man, even with our vitality we picked at the start, we got vitality issues. Trying to fix up this axe we got off a of bandit forever ago. I like this though. This is a cool mini game. I'm not sure that I'm putting enough pressure in. Like, I'm scrolling it up a lot. I think the angle is my issue more than anything. It's a little awkward because the the shape of the axe. There we go. That's getting it. Stop everyone once in a while and check the axe's condition. Okay, does this make the condition go down of the axe? I'm guessing it makes it stronger. But, uh, am I, like, breaking the axe? Damage, 22. Is that bad? Is it, like, I get to 100 damage and it's broken? Or I get it to 0 damage and it's broken? Because I think it started around 22, didn't it? Oh, condition here. Damage is what it deals. I'm stupid. Okay, well, 86. I'm guessing out of 100. That's pretty good. I think I can sharpen this some more. So it goes up if I do it right, and it goes down if I see smoke. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm repairing the condition. Okay. Oh, I just damaged it a little more. Let me smooth that out. All right, I'm not great at this mini game. I think I'll leave it there. I got some practice in there. Okay, so you said there was a trough behind me somewhere. Is it this? No, that's a basket. Um, It's getting quite late. It's a bellows. Does this count? No. Um, back here? Hey, I can wash myself. 
Wash myself as much as I can in a trough. It's not as good as having it properly laundered. Okay. I'm a little bit less dirty. That's good. Axes are for armored opponents and are a bit harder to use. I figured because, you know, it's got a bit of weight behind it. It's a weighty weapon with some blunt damage, so it'd be good at punching through armor. Alright, my character is getting a little tired, apparently. Maybe I need to find a, an inn for the night. Sorry, did anyone figure out earlier if save and quit is in the game yet? Does anybody know? Maybe I'll sleep for the night, because that'll for sure save. Where's an inn? I don't believe I can sleep in a tavern. Your bed. Oh, am I still allowed to sleep there? I mean, if I can fast travel. Yay! Just go home? Yeah, I guess I am bunking here with the douchebag who wants me to grave rob that I refuse to do. I'd rather pay him in coin. Uh, is it in here? Yeah, this is where it is. Is that... I thought there was a person outside. Can't really tell. Alright. What's that icon down there? Reading spot. Oh, do I have a bonus to reading if I'm sitting down by a light? That's probably it. And my character's tired. A little hungry, but he'll be fine. Let's go to sleep. Okay. I just want to sleep till morning, so seven hours will do. That'll get our energy full. We did it! We slept! You can see us use a mace in the Twin Star WoW server in the MDB flock. Boy, I'm fucking lonely there. We had a lot of people playing in the first couple weeks. We gotta remind people that, uh... We still all play World of Warcraft all the time. It's totally free to play it on the Ares server. The Twin Star Ares server. Sleeping is slow and tedious. Yeah, just like real life. Alright. We did it. So that should have saved the game, right? If I check the save files. Wait, no. That's... That's like 10 minutes ago. Why did it save? I thought sleeping saves. Uh, that's worrying. Hey, Teresa. Oh, we can't talk right now? Am I gonna have to drink one of those uh, potions? The, the, the alcohol, the save your schnapps? Save it, press save. It says this will cost you one save your schnapps. There are only three. There are three beds, and only one is yours. I slept in the correct one, right? This is the one that I woke up in. Yeah, this one's mine. The potions are easy to make. Nope, that's not my bed. That's the one I woke up in. Yeah, bed saved the game last time I played. Did that change in today's patch? Yours is the one near the window. Really? Why did I wake up in the wrong bed? And how do I know which one's my bed? There's a window right here. I slept here, right? I... Maybe I did sleep. Maybe this one is my bed. Why did no one complain about me being in their bed? Okay, sleep one hour, I guess. Weird. I could have sworn I picked the right bed. MDB, it's marked. Where is it marked? Game saved, okay. Oh, on my compass? Hold on. Oh, it's on my compass. That's very strange. Okay. Well, we saved it. Let's, uh, let's quit out. Oh, that quit the whole game. I was hoping to go to the menu so I could just, like, have the music and do a good outro. Close the whole game! 
thank everybody for watching. I hope you had fun on the stream. Uh, if you're watching live, we'll raid somebody in a second. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later, then check out the description. There'll be a playlist as well as uh, my Twitch TV page where you can watch it live next time. Thank you everybody for watching and until next time, have a nice day.